Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the concurrent skip list set in Java. This class basically belongs to the java.util.concurrent package and uh, uh, this was added in JDK 1.6 as you can see in the Java doc. So concurrent skip list set uh, is a scalable concurrent set which uses uh, basically a concurrent skip list map internally. So we had already discussed about the uh, concurrent skip list map in the previous video tutorial. If you did not watch then I request you to go and watch that video and then come to watch this video. Now concurrent skip list set and the similar map implementation uh, concurrent skip list map uh, were added in JDK 1.6. Uh, when we talk about the concurrent skip uh, list set, uh, since concurrent skip list set implements a navigable set, here you can see uh, in Java, it is a sorted set just like a tree set uh, with added feature of being concurrent, uh, which is essentially means it is a sorted data structure which can be used by multiple threads where uh, as three, tree set is not thread safe, right? The elements of the concurrent skip list set are kept sorted according to their natural ordering or by a comparator provided at set creation time depending on which constructor is used. If you press ctrl o then you have a several constructor in this class right you have a almost five constructor if you use this constructor which accept a comparator then a sorting will be applied based on the uh, implemented comparator right. Now concurrent list uh, set, uh, sorry concurrent is skip list set implementation uh, provides expected average big O of log n time cost for the contents at remove operations. Insertion, removal and access operations safely execute concurrently by the multiple threads. Uh, one more important point concurrent skip list set does not permit use of null elements because null, null arguments uh, null ar arguments and return values cannot be reliably distinguished from the absence of elements that is the reason concurrent skip list set does not allow you to add null uh, uh, value. Now uh, to make this demo I have already created a project with name concurrent escape list demo and here you can see couple of classes I have created. So first of all we will see this example right. So let us see an example where we uh, add some values in the concurrent escape list set and uh, in the output it can be seen that uh, elements are sorted. In this example uh, elements uh, are the type of a string and for a string natural order ordering is uh, ascending alphabetical order. So when you iterate the set you will see it is uh, sorted uh, in the same way. Now here basically uh, you should note that concurrent skip list set like any other set implementation like uh, has set can only store unique elements. Also as mentioned internally it uses a concurrent skip list map. If you look into the constructor of this guy, uh, concurrent skip list set, right, then this is internally using concurrent skip list map, right. Like uh, we had earlier seen, uh, uh, hash set basically uses a concurrent, uh, hash set basically uses internally hash map, right. So here uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, so when you call add method uh, of the concurrent skip list set it will uh, basically it will in turn call put if absent method of concurrent map that uh, way element is stored only if uh, it is not uh, there already right. If you call add method if you look in the odd add method signature then add method basically internally calls uh, sorry guys uh, I'm, I went to the a specification I have to go to the implementation. So here you will see internally it calls the so there are a lot of oh, classes is coming but I am looking for the this class right. So here you can see this is calling basically a put if absent method of concurrent hash map if some element is already there that will 
not uh, basically inserted again so that's the that's the checking is done by the put if absent if that element is absent in the uh, set then that is going to insert that's the basically that's the way basically uh, concurrent skip list sets, sets maintains the uh, uniqueness right now if i run this application then you'll see uh, uh, the output will be in the ascending order right that's the natural order uh, value has been printed this the this is the one of the example another example i have a little different here you can see another example again i have created an object of concurrent skip list set and i have assigned to the navigable set this interface is going to implement by this class and again i have inserted few values right here i'm going to show you how to iterate it that's pretty straightforward now couple of more methods i have taken over here like higher lower so tail set these are the basically considered as a navigable methods which is not uh, basically provided by your uh, tree set or any other set and this beauty of these methods is these methods are basically thread safe method and that's the reason when you are looking for the set implementation and with some navigable methods right uh, then uh, in that case concurrent skip list set is the good candidate now this code snippet is basically very very uh, easy so once you iterate then you will see values will be sorted based on the uh, provided added value uh, based on the value so this value will be uh, you'll see uh, that will be sorted uh, in ascending order right if you want this value should be uh, sorted in descending order then you need to write a comparator and that comparator instance will have to pass it over here and in comparator uh, uh, comparator uh, you will have to provide the basically sorting logic in descending order right now here you have a method is called uh, so as i said concurrent skip list set implements navigable set in interface so it uh, has many navigation methods returning the closest matches for the given search target let's see some of them in this example code so here you have a first navigation method is called higher there you are passing some element right so basically this returns the least element in this set and strictly greater than the given uh, element uh, this returns null if uh, there is no such element right that's the beauty of uh, higher now another method you have a lower right so lower basically returns the greatest element in this set uh, strictly less than the given element uh, and uh, it, it will return null if there is no such element and finally we have a tail set right uh, so here again i am passing one element and basically this method returns a view of uh, of of the portion of this set uh, whose elements are greater than or equal to the uh, whatever from element you are passing over here right so let's see how output comes now let me show you the output so here first of all we have added few elements and try to iterate this list and you can see value is basically sorted uh, in ascending order right that's the natural ordering basically uh, concurrent skip list set uh, basically uh, doing now lower value here uh, higher right so higher when you see higher value is going to return here, here element we have provided as a c so higher of c is Hyderabad and that's the value this value is going to return and uh, next method we have a uh, uh, sorry higher uh, sorry higher uh, is returning Chennai sorry guys so if you look into the higher uh, means uh, you have passed as a, a C right so basically this returns the least element in this set is strictly greater than uh, the given element right and it will return null if there is no such element and that's the reason this is basically returning you the Chennai now uh, second we are checking for the lower and we are passing the Mumbai as an argument right and lower is going to return the Hyderabad and that's the uh, basically lower of uh, basically uh, Mumbai is uh, Hyderabad and that's the reason this is going to return you and uh, next element you have a uh, uh, tail set and tail set here we are passing Hyderabad right and what output we are getting 
we are getting a output like Hyderabad, Mumbai and New Delhi, right? So, so here basically uh, output is including basically uh, what you are passing that is inclusive. So that's what Hyderabad, then Mumbai, then Chennai. But uh, so from a starting point, right? From a starting point till last. Uh, you are getting as an output right so i hope uh, this api is pretty straightforward there are many api you can go in the concurrent escape please set and you can go through that and you'll find uh, sometimes uh, those api basically very appropriate for your uh, requirement right so i really encourage you to go and uh, check rest of the details uh, in the concurrent escape list set right so in some scenario that may be very useful if you are looking uh, for the one of the collection which maintains basically unique elements right and that may be used in the concrete environment multi-threaded environment and you are looking for the at the same time you are looking for the some navigation navig navigable methods as well so in that case uh, concurrent skip list set is a very good candidate right so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys this code i'm going to check in on the github and github location uh, you can get from the video description part itself if you really enjoyed this video then please hit on the like button and please uh, share and subscribe my uh, videos as well so guys big thank you and see you next video tutorial